Hey guys, today we're going to be answering a question. Should you guys be using a trackpad or a mouse? Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is David with Side of Tech, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over which product is better for you guys, a trackpad or a mouse. And shout out to a very special subscriber that actually guessed the topic of today's video. His name is Adelon, and I'm gonna go ahead and shout him out here. Great guess. So we're gonna take a look at a couple of things. We're gonna take a look at each product's key features and we're gonna go ahead and compare them using five different points. So if all that sounds good, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I really wanna earn your subscription today. And also don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I'll have everything listed down in the description below as well as all the products that I mentioned today. All right, let's see if I can catch two. So let's go ahead and check it out. First thing we're going to cover today are the key features of each product. First one up is the Apple Magic Trackpad. Let's first talk about its gesture controls. Here we have the usage of multi-touch gestures and force touch technology. The trackpad is really sensitive to your touch, which allows for really great interaction with the product. Scrolling, swiping, the gesture controls can suit anybody. The main surface area that you're going to be interacting with is made of glass, which makes it really seamless to use, but also does pick up a little bit of fingerprints. The connection used to charge your trackpad is lightning, which thankfully Apple does include inside the box. The cable also looks really awesome because it does come in in a brand new black colorway. The white model is going for $129 and the black model is going for $149. And unfortunately, there is a little price jump between the white and the black model. It's $20. Apple rates the battery at a month long battery life. This can also go much longer depending on your usage. And lastly, this does connect via Bluetooth to your Mac. As soon as you turn it on and pair it, it will keep pairing up to the Mac instantly. The Apple Magic Trackpad will do everything you need it to do. Now let's move on to something else with a little bit more customizability. I have already covered the MX Master 3 in a previous video. I'll go ahead and link that above. So let's run through a couple of things that makes this mouse special. For one, this mouse does come in multiple colors and also a Mac exclusive version. It also does come with the Logi Options application, which lets you customize multiple buttons on the mouse. Battery life on the device is really great and it's rated at 70 days of usage. You can also get three hours of usage with a one minute charge. This really does come in handy when you're in a pinch and you need to use your mouse right away. Now that we've covered most of the key features of each product, let's go ahead and compare the two and see which one is better. Alright guys, so again, let's go over those five points we're going to be covering today, and that is the price, the features, battery life, the quality of the materials used, and definitely my favorite, the ergonomics. All right, so topic number one is super easy. Let's go over the prices. So the price for the Apple Magic Trackpad is $129 for the white version, and this one is $149. So definitely not the cheapest thing in the world compared to the mouse. It's not cheaper than that either. As of today, the MX Master 3 or the Mac version goes for $99.99. This goes on sale all the time. Another thing is this specific mouse comes in different colors as well, and you don't have to pay any kind of premium to get those colors like the trackpad. And then this Mac version has a space gray look to it, which will match all your Apple products in the space gray. But let's be realistic, $99 beats, $149 all day. All right, so next thing we're going over is which product has the best features amongst both of them. And that one I can definitely say belongs to the MX Master 3. So going back to the Apple Magic trackpad real quick, the force touch feature is a really nice feature on this trackpad and the gesture controls and the overall compatibility with the Mac system is really great. But the MX Master 3 really does not pull his punches back. So for one, you can hook up multiple devices to this product. 
three of them. So that's your MacBook, your iPad, maybe another desktop computer. You have a programmable gesture button that can also match certain gestures that the trackpad can do. You also have two programmable clickable buttons. So in my example, my mouse, I programmed it to where it does copy and paste on each button. You can customize basically anything you want in a mouse. So yeah, this point easily goes to the MX Master 3. So the next topic we're gonna be going over these two is the quality of the materials. And this section, easily, easily goes to the Apple Magic trackpad. So if you guys already know, Apple's build quality is just spectacular. So in this case, the whole body is made out of aluminum. Now this specific model, the black version, does pick up fingerprints a little bit, but the coating on here is just super smooth. And again, that's the coating that Apple puts on here. It just makes it super nice to handle. And if we look at the MX Master 3, this build quality is it's pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that bad. The best quality you're gonna get is with the scrolling wheels. So that's the thumb wheel and the regular scrolling wheel up top. And in my model, I've had this thing for about two years now, and you can definitely see some scuffs on the bottom of the mouse, which is not uncommon, but I think it's worth a mention. Again, if you guys are looking for build quality, go for the Apple Magic trackpad, you will not regret it. All right, so now let's cover which one is better in terms of ergonomics. For this point, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to actually the Apple Magic trackpad. Now this one might be a controversial pick. Please let me go ahead and explain myself. So one thing to be said is that the MX Master 3 is just a dream to use and it molds to your hand perfectly. But the thing is, when I first got this mouse, I remember having it being so bulky in my hands, I could not get used to it. And surprisingly, I would actually get some hand cramps with my hand using this mouse. Now my body is 100% used to it. This is a perfect mouse for me to use now, but it definitely wasn't like that from the start. So now if we transition to the Apple Magic Track Pad. All you have to do is learn a few gestures that are honestly super easy to learn. And once you get going, this turns into a productivity beast. So if you're talking about everyday use situations, I think the Apple Magic Trackpad in terms of ergonomics might be the best choice. And since everyone has used a MacBook in the past 10 years or so, not even necessarily a MacBook, it can be any single laptop. Everyone knows how to use a trackpad. So this is the reason why I gave the point over to the Apple Magic Trackpad. All right, so for those of you who haven't been keeping score, we have a tie. Two points for the Apple Magic Trackpad, two points for the MX Master 3. So who's gonna take it? The last category we're going to be covering is battery life. Battery life is super important when it comes to peripherals like your mouse or your trackpad. Oh, sorry Apple, hate to do this to you. The MX Master 3 takes this. So on their website, Apple states that this trackpad gets one month worth of battery. And I can attest to this, the battery life is really good, but the MX Master 3 is just a beast. And Logitech actually rates this at about 70 days of usage, no. It's not 70 days. They're definitely undervaluing that. I have honestly gotten up to four months of usage with this mouse and that that is no lie at all. And again, that depends on your overall usage of the mouse. But me as a content creator, I use this mouse all the time. And not only that, the MX Master 3 can get three hours of usage with a one minute charge. The win easily goes to the MX Master 3. So tallying up the score, we got two points to the Apple Magic Trackpad, and we have the winner here with the MX Master 3. Now again guys, this is my opinion for my own usage. As a content creator, I just feel like overall the MX Master 3 just fits my situation perfectly. Whenever I use the Magic Trackpad as my main device, I always found myself going back to the MX Master 3. And again, you guys cannot go wrong with either choice. I'm gonna go ahead and sum it up like this. If you guys are looking for overall customizability, and value, definitely go with the MX Master 3. This is one mouse that you will not regret getting. If you guys like using laptops all the time or you want something different, I'd say go with the Apple Magic Trackpad. And that, my friends, is the beauty of options. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching today's video. I really love doing these kinds of videos where I talk about comparisons of different products. I for one love using multiple products to find out my own preferences. And I love sharing those opinions to everyone because you might actually have the same type of preferences. But if you have your own different type of opinion, please go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. 
I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about this topic. And for all you new people out there, if you guys love videos about everyday tech products, don't forget to subscribe down below. We are a growing community here on YouTube and I guarantee you guys, you guys do not want to miss that. Now with all that being said guys, this is David serving you a little side of tech and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I got them both again. Bye guys.